Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1109. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1108 to 1110, click on the link below the video. Hey, 108, 109, and 110 are all about comparing two lists and extracting records in list two that are not in list one. So we literally need to get each one of these names that are not in this list and extract them. Now, in the last video, 108, we actually used the filter feature. Ah, and that, you want to watch that video, 1108, because what we did in that video will help us in this advanced filter video. But notice, here's the formula. Is in a match copied down a column, we get trues and falses. But we don't want this extra column, and we don't want to use filter and copy and paste. So now we're going to use advanced filter. And there's an amazing trick in advanced filter. You can actually put a formula in a single cell and tell advanced filter to look at that formula. And in memory, it'll copy it down as if it were a helper column. So for example, we are interested in using match. I want to say, hey, match, look up this name within this second list, F4 to lock it, comma. And we're doing exact match because our items are not sorted. So we put a 0. Mass just looks up the item and delivers the relative position. So Kiki, looking it up, it looks through here and says, it's item 9. Fran, Match looks it up. It says, eh, it is not in the list. It is NA. But check this out. We're interested in the NA. So we wrap is NA around it, a logical function. It simply will take any NA and give a true. Anything else will be a false. Now, this is what we did last video. And we don't want this extra helper. But watch this. This formula right here, you take the first formula from the helper column. And as long as it's pointing into the data set, you can simply copy it, Control C, paste it in some cell you're designating as the criteria. I'm going to delete this. Delete. Now, normally, when you do criteria for advanced filter, you have to list the field name above and criteria below. But for a formula, when the formula is the criteria, you either leave it empty, the cell directly above, or you have some word that's not a field name in the data list. Watch this. You click in the single cell, make sure there's empty cells all the way around your list. Data, Advanced Filter. That opens up the dialog box. Or you can use the keyboard Alt-A-Q. There is our dialog. We want to copy to another location. Our list, it got that right. Our criteria area, empty cell or cell that is not a legal field name, and the formula below. What this will do is, in memory, it will take that formula, copy it down. Anytime it sees a true, it'll extract the records. Now, it won't literally copy down. It'll just do it in memory. And then we give it some copy to range. Say right there, and you're not going to believe this. Click OK. And there we go. There are our names extracted. Absolutely beautiful. Didn't need a helper column like in 1108. Uh, didn't need to do copy and paste. Now, these are the items that are in this list but not in list one. What if we wanted to do the reverse? Well, here's a totally cool thing about advanced filter. You can actually, once you've loaded up that dialog box, if you change the criteria, watch this. I'm going to change it to is number. Is number will only get a true when there are items in both lists. So match looked up Joe in this list, reported a one. Is number sees it as a number, so it will return a true when the item is in both lists. Ah, so now I've changed that criteria. Click in a single cell, Alt-AQ. I'm opening back up the dialog box. I definitely want to say copy to, but I want to be careful here. Okay, So I got that. That's totally the same. It remembered it. And by the way, the way reason it remembered it is because it stored information in this dialog box in the defined names uh, name manager. 
That's correct also, G1 to G2. But what I want to be sure and change is G5. So I'm going to click right here. And these are going to be the items that are in both lists. When I click OK, you got to be kidding me. That is beautiful. So yes, you can use logical formulas for advanced filter as criteria. Above it has to be an empty cell or some something that's not a legal field name. Wow, that is cool. Our next video, 1110, we'll see how to do the same thing with an array formula. Uh, but that advanced filter trick is pretty cool. All right, we'll see you next video.